right, I have prepared here a simple scene for our pressure switch system that will be able to open our doors. So the first thing I'm going to do though is actually show the quick setup that I have here. It's um, a simple switch that I made in Pro Builder. Uh, it's just two simple cubes. One of them just moves up and down with animator. As you can see, I have created just a simple boolean to uh, switch between up and down animations. That will just create a more realistic look for our switch. But the main thing here is this switch does have a trigger box collider on it, or it could be any shape you want. Um, and this will detect our player or anything else that we need to activate the switch. So let's just begin actually just by creating the two C sharp scripts that we need. Uh, the first one will be actually our door. So we'll just have door type. And then we'll create one for our pressure switch. So I'll call it pressure switch. And I'll just be opening this up in my code editor. So as we can see here, our boilerplate code is there. We can just remove that. Uh, I'm going to start with the door script because this will be our simple uh, bulk of our code here. So let's start with a serialized field, and this would be a private integer for our um, required switches to open, and this will default to one. So one switch is needed to open this door, very simple. Uh, the second thing I'm going to be doing is actually adding a, uh, actually before that, we'll put a boolean here for this door open. And this will just simply have a sanity check later. And now we can continue. We can add a simple private list of type pressure switch. And this will be the uh, current switches open. All right, and this will be a new. Uh, we'll also be adding a another one for my project because I do have a slide door manager. This just takes care of sliding my door animation. Um, you can of course use animator or whatever else method you want to open your doors. This goes into another script that basically takes all the doors and does a do local move from our dot tween library, very nice library. Um, you can find out more in the link below. Um, it'll just basically allow to lure our cubes to look like they are sliding doors. You can use animator, of course, uh, but I'll be using that. So I'll just have a reference. And we'll just shift these up for neatness. Now we'll create our first method, which will be a public void of um, add switch and we'll pass in our uh, pressure switch and here we'll just do a sanity check first so if um, current switch is open uh, contains contains our current switch um, we'll actually be doing the opposite so We'll check if it doesn't contain it. This way we'll actually add it and we we'll, won't have any duplicates or any of that. So we'll just do that. And now we'll be doing the same thing, but we'll do removal. So this will be remove. And this will be the same code, except this will be the opposite. So we'll check if it does actually contain it then we can remove. Now we'll have another method here that will be a private void try open and this will simply check for our conditions. So we'll have if current switches open dot count is equal to our required switches to open then we can open our door. So open door we'll generate this method because we don't have it and we'll do actually an else if just be 
be probably an else, but it doesn't matter. We could just do current switches open less than required switches to open. Then we can close our door. And we'll generate that method as well. And for now, we'll just set our boolean is door closed open uh, to false and is door open to true and our open door. Uh, we'll delete our exceptions here. And we'll add this try method into here and another one into here. So when we add our pressure switch, it will attempt to check our conditions. And if the conditions are correct, then it does the appropriate thing. So we'll go to our pressure switch script here and we'll be deleting all this and we'll just reference our door here. So we'll do a simple serialized private um, door and we'll call this current door and we'll do another one for the animation. So we'll do animator and I'll be doing a simple method um, that already exists in Unity. So we'll do on trigger stay. Ooh. On trigger stay. And we'll check our conditions here. So if uh, we do stay on the trigger, we'll attempt to do current door that add pressure switch and we'll be adding this switch. So we'll use this and we have an animator set boolean. So we'll set our animator to down to true, sorry about that. And then we'll go to on trigger exit method and we'll actually be removing pressure switch and set the down to false. And that should pretty much take care of that. Um, in the current method here, I'm going to actually add inside of the door script my visual. So I do have my slide door manager and I will be using that to open the door. So I'll be using that to open doors. doors and I'll actually be adding a condition so it doesn't spam my doors to open constantly so if is door open it's actually the opposite here to here it looks confusing but this is very simple if it's the door is already open then it closes it and then it says the door is open to false and then it doesn't keep spamming it over and over so the same conditions are here where we will actually only try to open the door once and not keep spamming it so that should take care of that script um, if we want to actually make this a little bit more legible and maybe accessible from another script we can actually make this into a, um, a getter property so we could do uh, public int um, required switch to open um, no sorry this would be current switches open sometimes the intellisense does not understand um, so current switches open will be our current switches open dot count this will be a little shortcut so we don't have to keep writing dot count um, and we can access this somewhere else but we don't have the permission to change it so we can always get a read only from this so that is pretty much all we need here we can go ahead and test this out i'll be going out of code editor here let unity compile the code go to our door i'm gonna add my door script and I'll be linking my slide door manager this is, will be only on my thing but you'll have probably your own animation and then I have the pressure switch which I'll be adding the code to pressure switch now I'll link up this door to this 
and animator will be already on the object. And we can go ahead and test this out and it should be able to open the door when we walk on it. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. We get off, get on, get off, get on. If you want to try it out with a prop, we can go ahead and do that. I have a simple character controller pushing rigid body and as you can see the door stays open push this off and everything is working perfectly now we can see the uh, system is actually pretty modular because we can add a secondary switch here and all we need to do is go on the door and just change the required switches to open to two so we can go ahead and play test this so if we do step on one platform nothing happens other platform nothing happens but the switches do move up and down now we do push this one here and we can push it here or we can just walk on it because you can see everything is working perfectly fine and it is modular so i hope that helped you create the system and uh, if you would like to find out more you can subscribe and uh, if you like the video you could comment or hit a like as well and uh, see you in the next one thank you